Hi, I'm Phil Duncan. Welcome to Anyone Can Play Harmonica Video. The goal of this course is to introduce you to basic harmonica playing in several musical styles. There are many harmonicas available to us. As you can see, there are large harmonicas and small harmonicas. We are going to concentrate on the 10-hole diatonic harmonica in the key of C. To play along with this video, you will need one of these. On most harmonicas, there is a stamp letter C indicating the key of C. The harmonica requires the player to exhale or blow into the harmonica, causing the reeds to move, creating a tone or tones. First, we need to blow or exhale into the harmonica. Let's do a duration of air. Ready? Blow. You do not have to blow or breathe into the harmonica with a great deal of pressure, just enough to cause a feather to float through the air. Next, we need to inhale or suck into the harmonica. I'll refer to this as drawing air through the harmonica. Ready? Inhale. A duration of air. It is necessary to blow sometimes into the harmonica and sometimes it's necessary to draw air through the harmonica. Let's do a pattern of four counts in three sections. Blowing and drawing with me. Ready? Begin. We have learned that it is necessary to blow air and to draw air through the harmonica to make it work. Now, let's take our harmonica. Next, our task is to apply this blow-draw technique to the harmonica. Let's take the harmonica and look at holes two, three, and four. Now take the harmonica, put it in your mouth, using your lips to seal the outside of the harmonica and blow. Next, take the harmonica back to your mouth again and draw air through holes two, three, and four. You've noticed that when we blow air into holes two and three, two, three, and four, we get three tones. This is called C chord. When we draw air through the harmonica, we get three different tones. This is called a G chord. Using this information, we can play an accompaniment along with a melody. Looking at chart number four, using holes two, three, and four, we can play C chord blow and G chord draw. Ready? Begin. We have learned that by blowing air into the harmonica and drawing air into the harmonica, we can play chords to accompany a melody. We are now going to discuss and demonstrate the playing of single tones. First, let's take the harmonica and put it in our mouth. But before we blow, bring the tongue forward, covering holes two and three. Now you'll need to move the tongue over just a little so that hole four will be open and allowing the air to move down the right side of your mouth. Ready? If I take my tongue off, I will get all three tones. When I put my tongue back on, I get the single tone four. You must keep working at this until it becomes a very solid sound with no air sound coming through the harmonica. We have learned that by placing our tongue on holes two and three, we can make a single hole four sound. Our next task is to play other tones on the harmonica, but only one at a time. Ready? Listen. Listen. 
Now, let's put the harmonica back in your mouth. Bring your tongue forward, cover holes two and three, and let's blow into hole four. Now, scoot the harmonica over and play hole five. If your tongue moved, that was incorrect. The harmonica mouthpiece moves, but your tongue remains in position, automatically covering holes three and four. Now let's play holes four, then five together. Ready? Now let's work back and forth between hole four and five. First, we must organize a pattern of four counts into four sections. I will call measures. In the first section, we have four fours. Arrows pointing up means blow. In the second section, we have four fives. Arrows pointing up blow. In the third section or measure, we have two fours blow, then two fives blow, and then one five blow, four blow, five blow, and four blow in the last section. We must play this steady and even. Now I will count to four and let's begin at the beginning of chart seven. Ready? Begin. We have learned that by scooting the harmonica or making it slide, we can move from holes four to five and play single tones. Next, we can move to hole six using the same techniques that we used in holes four and five. Slide the harmonica over and blow into hole six. Next, we are going to play holes four, five, and six, sliding the harmonica but keeping the tongue in position. Watch the charts. Ready? Begin. Next, we're going to add hole seven blow. Ready? Now let's play holes four, five, six, and seven, and then coming back down, six, five, and four. Watch the charts change when they change. Ready? Begin. Now let's organize a pattern of four counts into four sections. In this four sections, we will have each of the holes being played four times. I will count to four and you begin with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. We have learned that by blowing into hole four, five, six, and seven, and not moving the tongue, but sliding the harmonica, we can begin learning the, sec the secret of playing single tones. We now need to focus on the proper use of holding the harmonica. Take the V of your hand, place the harmonica very carefully in there, line your fingers across the top, take your right hand, Cup it around the back of the harmonica. When you open your hand, you will get a bright sound. When you close your hand, you will get a dark sound. Now, when we use that, we can cause the sound to be bright or dark. We can also make a wall sound by opening the hand immediately after we play. Or we also can use the hands to play a vibrato. It depends on whether I want a slow vibrato, I move my hand slowly, or I move it fast. Yeah. 
I have noted earlier there are two ways to produce sound on the harmonica. Blow into the harmonica and draw air through the harmonica. Let's take our harmonica again, place it in our mouth, and bring our tongue forward covering holes two and three so that we can blow into hole four. Now we're going to reverse our air and draw in hole four, suck in air through the harmonica, we will get a different sound. Now with me, very carefully blow into it without moving your tongue back away from the harmonica, draw air into the harmonica. Ready? Begin. Next we'll go to hole five. We do exactly the same thing. Place your tongue on holes three and four so that we can blow in hole five, and then we'll reverse our air and draw in hole five. Remember, keep your tongue on the harmonica when drawing. Ready? Hole five. Begin with me. Next, we're going to do a pattern using blow four and draw four, blow five and draw five. If you look at chart 11, in the first section, you can see four fours, which are blow. Then draw in the second section or measure. Arrows pointing down mean draw. Then in the third section or measure, we have fives, and there are four of those, and that's blow. And the last section is draw four times on the whole five. Now I'm going to count to four, and you begin with me at the beginning of this chart, playing as indicated on the chart. Ready? One, two, three, four. We have learned to blow and draw in holes four and five. Now, we are ready for our first tunes. It is necessary to blow and draw at the appropriate times. Watch the arrows and watch the numbers for the proper holes to play. We are going to play merrily we roll along. It is always best to practice with the booklet so that you may become familiar with the tune as well as become familiar with the arrows and the proper holes. Then you will be ready to proceed with me and join me in playing with the band. Usually there will be an introduction before we begin to play. Are you ready? Let's begin. Good news is a familiar tune. Let's try it. Remember, study your booklet first until you become familiar with the tune, and then you'll be ready to play along with me. Ready? Let's begin. Now let's play hole six, blow and draw. Now we're ready to play a several tunes that use holes four, five, and six, blow and draw. Remember to check your pamphlet so that you can become familiar with the arrows and the proper holes to play. Then you'll be ready to join me playing Jingle Bells. Watch for the introduction. Ready?
next, let's play the tune, Saints Go Marching In. Remember, check your pamphlet first. Ready? Now let's try Rock of My Soul. Remember, check the booklet first. Ready? Next, we are going to add draw seven and blow seven. Yes, in that order. This hole is reversed along with eight, nine, and 10. The draw tone is lower than the blow tone. Let's go to hole four, blow and draw. Hole five, blow and draw. Hole six, blow and draw. Hole seven, draw blow. Now let's play Camp Town Races. It uses hole seven. Check your pamphlet. Let's begin. Next, let's move to hole three, blow and draw. Now let's play Streets of Laredo. Remember, check your booklet first. Ready? After an introduction, let's play Down in the Valley. Ready? Now let's play Good Night Ladies. Ready?
Now let's go to hole eight. Draw, then blow. Yes, it is reversed just exactly like hole seven. The draw pitch is lower than the blow pitch. Now let's play Scarborough Fair. Refer to your booklet first and let's begin. Ready? Next is House of the Rising Sun. Ready? The next song uses Blow 8, Little Brown Jug. Ready? Next, let's play hole nine, draw and blow. Then 10, draw and blow. The next tune is Turkey in the Straw. It uses holes nine and 10. Refer to your booklet first. Ready? Let's begin. One of the popular styles of playing harmonica is what we call blues style harmonica. As we examine the harmonica, we have to look at it a little bit differently. We have used hole four as our center or main tone. And now we cross over to hole two. We call this cross harp. This also changes the key in which we are playing. On your C harmonica, we now will play in the key of G. We hold the harmonica the same as before, but our blowing and drawing technique is different. We pucker our lips, not using our tongue, and we put the harmonica in our mouth and pucker as if we were doing a backward whistle or sucking on a thick malt. Now, let's put the harmonica in your mouth and draw hole five. Now draw hole four, three, and two. Now we'll do them in a row, five, four, three, and two, and slide the harmonica carefully. 
Ready? If hole two doesn't respond, allow air to come through your nose at the same time. This will relieve pressure on the reed. In some cases, it will be necessary to use blow three for the G-tone until we become more familiar with the blues style technique. Next, we will sandwich in or add in blow five and four. Looking at the chart, we'll first draw five, then blow five, then draw four, then blow four, draw three, and draw two. Ready? Begin. Next, we will go back up from two up to five draw. Ready, begin. Practice this until it becomes smooth. Up first, then down. The shake or tremolo is an important blues technique. We use holes four and five drawing and we shake our head back and forth just like saying no. The bending technique requires lots of practice. Bending a tone means you slow down the vibrating reed, causing the tone to lower in pitch. You use air pressure to make this happen. You use only draw notes, holes four, three, and two. I will demonstrate holes four, three, and two bend. Try other holes on the harmonica until you can get a successful bent tone. Then work through the other tones until all tones can be bent from holes four clear through one. Now let's look at the blue scale. It does require some bending. Draw two, bend three, blow four, draw bend four, draw four, draw five, and blow six. Look at chart 26. Now play along with me as I go up the blue scale. Ready? Begin. Now let's reverse it and go down, starting at hole six, down to draw hole two. We can create our own melodies using this blues technique, using other holes on the harmonica, such as hole one draw and hole two bent, we can create our own beginnings and endings. The squared number is a maximum bent tone. <laughs> Using the technique of the blues scale and our first melody riff, along with the shake and holes one and two, we can create a most desirable sounding blues for harmonica. Remember, the squared number is maximum bend. I hope this course has been a benefit to you in your study of the harmonica. Knowing how to play the harmonica can be lots of fun. I hope you refer back to this video often. For additional instruction, Mel Bay offers many other books and audio cassettes. Here are a few. The Deluxe Harmonica Method with Cassette, Blues Harp and Jazz Harp with Cassette, The Complete Chromatic Harmonica Method with Cassette, Bluegrass and Country Music for Harmonica, with cassette, harmonica songbook, harmonica classics, hymns for harmonica, and holiday songs for harmonica. Mm -hmm.